this is the cable inside this plastic box we have the module we can see the module have uh, <coughs> the CMOS camera two boards the max resolution of this camera is 3 megapixel at 35 frame rate per second or in VGA or HD or FHD at 60 uh, frame rate per second. This is the <coughs> installed um, drivers for the camera. We, uh, we will use to mount inside our NVIDIA Jetson and test uh, quickly. And this is the module, the camera module. Now we mount it on the Jetson Nano camera made from Econ system. Second point we will use and we using this connector. It's important to connect and check in detail how it's work. In this case, we have this black part of the connector. We must open it and put with more attention the cable. Yes, okay. Wrong direction. This is the right direction of the connector. I hope. No. It's important to check online or we can plug and connect the part. Yes, was right. Okay, now it's connected. Second part is plug the cable on the NVIDIA Jetson. Okay. We use this part of the NVIDIA Jetson developer kit open the connector and put the blue cable part on this direction. After that, we can close it. Okay, now the model is ready to use. But before to start, I change the micro SD. Remove the previous micro SD, change, and replug again all parts. Ready to use. Okay, go.
not bad, really. Guys, it's amazing. Ok, now we can see how the, this camera works and the performance of this camera. I would like to run the controller. We can see on left the JTOP manager. We can see the performance now at this time of the Jetson Nano, the GPUs, the, one moment, okay. the status of the GPU, the status of Jetson Clock and NVP model the fan speed and the information now installed of this version of the uh, this release from Acon system. We don't have inside OpenCV, CUDA, TensorRT, VisionWorks and CUDNN. Anyway, let's go to see the performance now. If I go on video and change, in this case we have at a maximum resolution first point I would like to see the status of the GPU ok if I change for resolution at 60 FPS now the frame rate is fast we can see the performance are completely different the performance of the GPU has changed and it's curious if I change now and I disable Jetson clock the performance are now really high and if I change the MVP power now uh, the Jetson works really really uh, when they have strong problems to work. In this case if we see the manual and the reference of this camera uh, the Econ system suggests to use the Jetson clock activated and this is why I activated again now and change to max and power the NVIDIA Jetson Nano. Meanwhile we can see the performance of the camera is really good. If I change like before the resolution and the we can see the performance change. Now we move to max performance max resolution of this camera and is really really good the performance of the camera are not really bad I move again now we are only seeing the performance of the GPU but uh, we can see the other performance by the memory and the CPU and are really good about this frequency frame rate and resolution after this second clip we have seen the Econ system camera in action, how it is works, how we can use it and the difference uh, compared the uh, Raspberry Pi camera and the previous video about the Z-Stereo camera we will uh, review it in the end of the next video.